welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about maybe, maybe I found one of the best topwater lures that I ever found. I know I talk about a lot uh, uh, top waters all the time. You know, as if you watch the channel, uh, I love top waters. I love throwing top waters. One of my favorite top waters. I really only throw two and maybe three. You know, a zoom paddle frog, and again, that's from vegetation, lily pads. If I have a hydrilla, uh, if I got moss or anything else on on the surface, I'm throwing a a zoom paddle frog. That's what I'm going with. And typically if I have no vegetation, it's early in the morning or in the evening or even sometimes in the middle of the day, if I just think that they're really, really active and I can get them to strike, it's one and only in a whopper popper. But I found something better than a whopper popper. Way better. Super, super 100% better. And I'm going to share it with you today. Now, again, yeah, I, I do like doing these types of videos. Uh, you know, the product review videos. If I find new products or if I go out and find, it doesn't matter where it's from, if it's from you know, Guggen, you know, again, I've always talked about Guggen Saucy Swimmers. I, I think they're probably one of the better swimmers out there. Um, but again, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, Sixth Sense or Strike King or, or, or Rapala or, or anything else, um, really, it, it doesn't matter. I, I you know, I'll, I'll share them with you. I, I do enjoy doing that. I, I do buy a lot of gear and a lot of, uh, a lot of lures. So for the most part, I do keep it simple. You know, I, I you know I, I bought a bunch of buzz baits last year, and so I, I do throw some buzz baits out there. But for me, the Whopper Popper was awesome because you could toss it out there a mile, and, and and you could go get it. The problem I always had with the Whopper Popper is the price point. You know, the fourteen dollars uh, again. It depends what you get to seventy five, ninety one ten. If you go into like musky and stuff like that, then you can go up to I think it's the one thirties. I think is where they are. But they get a little pricey. And I've actually went swimming in a pond. Yes, I did. I went swimming in a pond with, with my. Uh, I, my, my kid didn't go. I went and he recorded it because uh, I lost a Whopper Popper and it was like 15 I was $15 and it just hey, it was one of the first videos I did I was just messing around but I, yeah I, so I, I ran swimming I jumped into the pond it was a retention pond I went in there it was stuck on the fountain and I grabbed it so it was $15 I wasn't going to lose $15 but what I found are these little bad boys so a lot of people I don't know you can't really see it but I'm going to open it up so I bought all of these things so you know, pretty much now everybody has a whopper popper ish type of type of lure that they sell. It's it's nothing nothing new anymore. I've used some of them. I've actually bought like the Guggen. Uh, there's things Striking has one. Uh, Timu has a, a couple of the smaller ones, and uh, I don't know. I just think the whopper popper is is by far the, the best one. So I'm gonna get right into it. Yeah, I found these things. I, I think these things are money. And you know what? If I could open I could open it up. I'm gonna share it with you. And these colors, I don't know, are really same color. Let's just open up a couple different colors. These things, these things are money. All right, you're probably looking at it and say, 4 out, what's the difference? Uh, well, there's a couple different differences, and I'm gonna go through it. So here's the, here's a Whopper Popper. Really, it, it, this is this is the Whopper Popper. These are the new ones. So I got these at Timu. And I know, before you shut off the video and say, Timu sucks, Timu, Timu sucks, and, and, and I, I would never buy anything from Timu. Listen, I'm not going to go into a, a, a whole another thing about Timu or anything like that. Listen, all I'm saying is if I could buy the same product, or pretty, pretty much similar to the same product, that, yeah, for, for, a, for a price difference, I, I'm definitely going to do it. And, and I, do, I do shop Timu, I do shop Timu a lot. I, I do buy a lot, a lot of that stuff on Timu. It's dirt cheap. So, I'm going to tell you the difference between them. Really, these things are money. So it has a swivel. It kind of has that, that little swivel, little swivel on there where you tie it onto. You could take that off versus a whopper popper. Whopper popper doesn't doesn't have that. It just goes straight into the, into the body. You can do the same thing, but that kind of gives you a little bit more slack in there. And when it goes through the water, pops a little. Just again, we're not talking a, a huge vibration difference. It's you know when I switched over from a, a jackhammer over to Timu. Uh, you know the vibration is the same. It's just the difference is it's just a has a little bit of a bend on that that blade, and it just makes a little bit different of a vibration. Not not a whole ton, uh, but it does have a little bit. So these things are built basically the same thing, the same type of color. I, I do like the the paint job on this more better than than the original uh, Whopper Popper. The original Whopper Popper again, it, I've been using them for years and years. I I, I love these. I've done videos on them. So again, I do love the Whopper Popper, but these are. Pretty much similar. Kind of go in. Pretty much exactly. Uh, pretty much exactly the same. Um, pretty much. 
So the only difference is, I'll tell you, is the, the one from, from Timu um, has a, it looks like a little bit heftier hook than, than the ones from, uh, from Waffle Popper. The middle, the spinning thing that, that holds that together, it's a little piece of plastic. They all, and if anybody says that they ripped off, everybody has these. This is nothing, everybody has them. I mean, there's, again, you, you say Timu ripped them off, well, everybody else ripped them off. And you could go straight down the line at all the companies because all the companies, I actually had somebody email me a while ago. I think he was a, I don't know if he's a subscriber anymore, but he made his own lures and he had a Whopper Popper. Basically the same thing, he, was, he had a Whopper Popper. Um, it wasn't this fat one, but it, it was that one. Okay, so and that's that. Okay, $3.00. $14. I bought, I don't know, five or six of these and pretty much cost me just the amount of the same thing as for one of these. So I got, I got a white one. I got this like this tiger shad one. I got another white one. I have a frog one. And I actually do think, I, I do actually like the colors better um, on Timu than I do on uh, the Waffle Popper. I mean on the, yeah, the, uh, what is it? The Rivers to Edge Waffle Popper. So River to Edge Waffle Popper. Timu, go on, buy them. They're three dollars. So I'm just gonna tell you one thing. There is wa there is Whopper poppers out on Timu, and I bought them. So before you jump out there, I'll, I'll put the link on, on in the description. So use that link. Again, I don't get I don't get no money from Timu or anything like that, but use that so so you get you're buying the exact same thing uh, that that I have. When you go on Timu, don't just buy any Whopper popper, or don't just buy any lure in general, because I, I bought a bunch of their Whopper poppers, and, and they were all complete crap. I mean, I threw them all out, honestly. Um, thank God I didn't spend a whole ton of money on this. So what I ended up doing before I bought these, I went on the Rivers to Edge, I pulled this up, and I, and I got the dimensions of this. I got the weight to it, and I got the length to it. I went on the team, and thank goodness some of them, they, they, some lures, they actually have the length and the weight. Uh, some of them don't. Don't buy any other the Whopper Popper type-ish uh, baits on Timu. They all stink. I, I pretty much bought them. They, they, they are horrific. Unless, the, especially the, the really, really thin ones, the really thin ones in the Whopper Popper, completely crap. They're just completely crap. I, I don't, don't waste your money. This is it. And why I like these, I'm gonna tell you why I like these, is because it has a fatness to it. it it's not really long, and I've used the long ones. I think there's like the 195s or 110s or something on Rivers to Edge. And they're great, they're, they're gonna cut you a bass. But these things, again, Rivers to Edge and Whopper Whopper and, and Timu, so they're fat. And, and when they come across, it's more of a compact, it's a little fatter compact. And when that thing's coming, it makes a different, makes a different plopping as it goes through the water versus the longer ones. And again, don't buy the longer ones on Timu. I'm telling you, they're complete crap. So stick with these. These things are money no matter what. If I had to choose a Whopper Plopper, um, and anything, Walmart popper ish uh, bait from any company, uh, it doesn't matter what it is. I would definitely go with the, with the more of the, this, I think this is three, 3.1 inches. Um, but I, I do love the, the fatness of it, the bigness of it, and it makes a little bit of a different uh, bubble and, uh, awake than the longer ones. And, and I've caught more bass on these the big, the, the, the chunky, the chunky ones, right? The small chunky ones, big little, little fatties. And more than, I caught more bass on these than I did the, the the bigger ones, the longer ones. Again, I'm not a big fan, they're just more longer, and then they come through. So, this is money. I mean, it saves you money, but it is money, right? It's a double. It saves money? It is money. But uh, seriously, yeah, this is this is the way to go. Uh, I'll drop, I'll put the link on uh, in the description. It, if you want a top water, and you know I keep everything simple, if you want a top water that's gonna catch your bass and you don't have vegetation, uh, this is the only lure to use. Uh, you know, again, I've used it for years. If they're gonna hit a top water, they're gonna hit a top water. And, and this is it. You could crank this thing, you could talk, you could throw this thing a mile. I've said it, I've said it, I've said it for years. A Whopper Popper, I could cover more water with a with a popping thing, something like this, because I could cast it further uh, than any other top water. And I'm just going boom, 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 boom. And I'm going through the pond, and I'm cranking it out. Half an hour, 30 minutes, you know, half an hour, 30 minutes, same dang, same, same dang thing. Half an hour, 40 minutes, I covered a pond. If they're hitting them, they're hitting them. If not, I'm gonna switch over and I'm, I'm, I'm moving through my rotations of lures. So again, hope you enjoyed the video. Go out and buy some. Again, it's gonna save you a ton of money. It's gonna catch you a ton of bass. Again, keep it simple. You don't need a hundred different top water lures. Again, if you have vegetation, obviously you can't throw this. Uh, you know, that's when you go to a frogish type of uh, top water. 
you don't have vegetation, these things are money. Uh, I, would, I would definitely go out and buy some. Again, they're $3 versus a River's Edge Whopper Popper, which is $13, $14. It's going to save you a ton of money. And these things are just point up, just money. Great hook on it, you know, great, great sound to it. Even that putting that little swivel on there, you know, it gives you kind of a little bit more of a push to it. It does make a little bit of a difference. So um, the colors are awesome. They have a lot of different colors out there. So go check it out. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll check you later.